This week on Winchester and Drury's Natural Born. Mr. Coyote stepped out. I love shooting coyotes and you cannot kill enough of them. Well, it is October the 14th and we are back in Wyoming. That's a giant. That's a mega giant, dude. You get there. Here we go. This week on Winchester and Drury's Natural Born, we're heading to Missouri to join up with Adam Anderson as he looks to do some predator control on some pesky coyotes. I was not gonna let that one walk. Then we'll also follow Adam as he heads out into the beautiful hills of Wyoming with his Winchester 308 in search of a bugling bull elk. Let's get this party started. It is November the 24th, back in the muddy bowl again this morning. And right at daylight, I've already got a doe out here in the field. I've got about four acres of standing beans here. They're only about this tall. <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't get very tall this summer. The deer just pounded this bottom right here. And there were so many deer on this field. Every night, they just kept eating the tops off, eating the tops off. So the beans just didn't grow, but they do have a lot of pods on them. So hopefully, maybe a big bug will walk out this morning and I can put the Winchester to work. Fingers crossed, maybe the big boy shows this morning. Well, this morning did not disappoint. I guess I didn't kill a whitetail, but I did kill a coyote. And you cannot kill enough of these coyotes. I try to kill as many of these things as possible. Here in the next month and a half or so, we're really gonna start calling, trying to kill a lot of them. Last year we killed almost 30 of them. And uh, you just cannot kill enough of these predators. You know, whenever you have a lot of predators like this, it seems like that shuts the movement down, a lot of nighttime movement and plus they'll just kill a lot of fawns and uh, they're just not good on the deer herd. So either way, like I said, I didn't kill a buck this morning, but I did kill a coyote. Thumbs up to that. Now, hopefully the Winchester can do work on a big old buck. Make the most of your time in the woods by knowing how to recover your deer after any shot with our revolutionary track feature and get ahead of your game with DeerCast. Hey, let's just be honest. No one can ever completely beat a mature whitetail census. But if you play your cards right, you can fool them. Now for all the work you put in to getting this close, make sure the camo you choose is up to the task. Mossy Oak, made for moments like this. You're dedicated to the hunt. Putting in the time, the sweat, the energy, no matter the cost. During the off season, in the heat of summer or the cold of winter. Scouting, setting up your gear and equipment and making plans through every step. When it's finally go time, when it's you versus him, that's when you give your best. Because nothing is worse than ending a hunt before it begins with unwanted odor. Scent Crusher, scent off, game on. We live in a connected world. Why should your trail camera be any different? Our proven Hyperfire 2 is now 4G LTE cellular enabled, allowing you to receive images from almost anywhere in the world. With the Reconnex Connect mobile app, you can create a custom cellular plan, manage images, check camera status, or change settings remotely. Cost-effective data plans utilizing Verizon or AT&T are available directly through Reconnex and are backed by a full five-year warranty. Reconnex, see what you've been missing. It's more than your hobby. 
it's more than a pastime. It's part of you. Analogics Outdoors. There is no off season. Natural Born is brought to you by Sig Crusher, Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's, Matthews Archery, Mission Crossbows, Reconyx Game Cameras, Nomad Outdoors, Mossy Oak Camouflage, Outdoor Edge, Analogics Outdoors, First Form, Deercast, and Winchester Ammunition. Adam Anderson is always on the lookout for those pesky predators. So when a big male coyote stepped out on his Missouri farm, Adam grabbed his Winchester XPR 308 and let it rip. I was not gonna let that one walk. You can't ever kill enough of those things. Now we're gonna rewind the clock back to October and follow Adam as he travels to Wyoming with his trusty Winchester XPR 308 in search of a nice bugling bull elk. Okay, well, it is October the 14th and we are back in Wyoming. Um, back in the Midwest right now, it's the October low. It's about 75 degrees back home. So uh, we kind of made the decision, you know, last minute, we just, we're gonna come out here and spend a few days here in Wyoming and hopefully we can get it done. So fingers crossed, I think it's gonna be a good three or four days. So uh, stick with us. Hopefully we can get something done pretty quick. I'm looking forward to it. Well, it is opening day of Wyoming elk rifle season. JT and I are back at it again. We're in the same area where we came in here. We bow hunted um, around the September 15th, that first week of bow season. We've seen a lot of bulls. We had a lot of good encounters. We just couldn't get anything killed. So we decided we was gonna come back and spend three days or so here back in the mountains chasing these elk. So I've got the Winchester in hand. We're hoping maybe this morning that some of these bulls that we'd seen were down in the alfalfa fields. Maybe they're coming up this drainage. Maybe we can cut one off before they go into the dark timber and bed for the day. We're gonna be on our toes, keep our eyes out, put the loopholes to work, and hopefully we can spot a big bull and get him down on the ground here in the next couple days. That's a giant. You see him? Mm hmm. Just that single by himself? Yeah. Is he? He's angling this way. Oh, dude. He's coming. I'm going to cow call. <whistles> you got him. He heard me. Like, that's a mega giant, dude. Oh, yeah. Wish we could get down in there. He's gonna make it up here if he's gonna go the other direction. I just I couldn't tell exactly what he was gonna do, but 
we're hoping he comes up here and maybe he's got a big boy with him. So we'll just see what happens here and see how this plays out. So hopefully we can get it done here. It's a beautiful night. He's big, isn't he? there in his tracks. Hey. Oh, he just killed an absolute giant. Oh my gosh. Right there, man. Let me grab my binoculars, make sure. Make sure he's dead. Dude, I'm pretty sure he dropped. He, he did drop like a freak. He dropped and slid down just a little bit. <gasps> That's our big boy. Gosh, we were staying, we were been watching bulls all over this mountainside all the afternoon, all oh, night. Man, oh, all the time we put into this. <laughs> oh, Dude, that's a stud. That's the bull we're after. Oh, biggest bull of my life, and I'm so pumped right now. Yes. Okay, well, we finally made it to our. We think this bowl is laying. This is just a blessing. I'm so excited. I'm just put, ready to put my hands on this bowl. Oh, JT, look right there. Oh my gosh, there he is. Oh, oh my gosh. Well, here he is. I've dreamed about a bowl like this my entire life. We've been busting our butts out here. And uh, sure enough, this is a bull we actually encountered yesterday. We had him at like 700 yards or so and couldn't get him killed. We didn't have a shot or anything, but this morning we came in before daylight, well before daylight, we got set up there on our, we call it the knob because we can have such a good vantage point. We can see everything around us. We literally sat there all day today. And uh, tonight we was watching six or seven small bulls and I looked down below us, 365 yards down below us and this big boy stood there and uh, I knew it was him immediately. I told JT, I said, hey man, there he is. Let's get on him and we're gonna kill this bull. Sure enough, my scope was right on him and uh, he finally, you know, he turned and he quartered to me just a little bit and I wasn't gonna wait any longer. I shot him right in the high shoulder and dropped him in his tracks and uh, the Winchester found its mark. Um, this is a true blessing tonight. It all came together and uh, I finally killed a mega giant bull here in Wyoming. Next week on Winchester and Drury's Natural Born, it's off to Louisiana with Kyle Lamore as he battles the weather on a quest to take a nice buck with his Winchester XPR 270 before helping guide Cole Cooper ring in the new year on a nice buck of his own. Man, that's awesome. <laughs> that's the deer we came in to kill. I can't wait to see what happens next week right here on DoD TV.
season at Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Get the best deals on great hunting gear in store and online. You grow to love the repetition. Enter at the Old Elm, Third Maple on the right. Maybe today. Maybe not. Sleep, refuel, try again. This time is different. I've elevated myself. We're adding new videos every week, so make sure to click that subscribe button and check out all of our amazing content. This episode of DOD TV was brought to you by Sportsman's Channel, your home for everything red, wild, and blue.